back and forth trying to hammer out an agreement between the city and the uh, county for Area Agency on Aging on a, uh, a lease and the terms for that lease of uh, 710 Maple Street, known as the Senior Center. Uh, <coughs> a couple of drafts of an agreement, uh, two or three. What we have now is a final, which has been circulated. Everyone's had an opportunity to see it. But there were some changes made to it. Um, but uh, I feel we're, we're about finished with those, unless uh, you have any others to bring up today. So that's where we are is, uh, for consideration today of the management agreement between the county and the city for 710 Maple Street. And uh, along with that, perhaps we should have uh, a bit of feedback for the folks that are here about the letter that has been sent to Doris Meyer. Is that appropriate? Could we have our discussion first? Pardon me? Could we have a discussion first? Okay. Uh, before, okay. Uh, do we do we need to have a? We should have a motion to adopt this before we have discussion. Uh, that's up to you. I mean, you, you can discuss I, the motion, or you yeah. can just discuss the topic. Okay. Well, no, I, that's fine. I think we can have. Uh, would you like to comment now? I would. Please. Okay. Um, Sherry, there's only one part. Um, I know Jamie hasn't gone through it yet, but there's only one part that still troubles me. I know as a county commissioner, part of my duties, according to Purdue statutes, are to provide services to the aging. And I don't know that that is a city directive. Um, in other words, within uh, the duties assigned to a mayor. Um, and it may be, and I don't know that, but I do know what I'm told that I have to do. And um, to relinquish those decisions um, through the form of the lease doesn't seem right to me. I understand your intent, and I think the intent is stated that we'd like it to be a senior center, and I think that's wonderful and that's great. But there are so many things beyond our control. For instance, um, last year we experienced a lot of budget cuts. It could happen again this year, and it could hit the Area Agency on Aging rather hard. I don't know what's on the plate in Harrisburg, but uh, that's just a for instance. And there are other scenarios. Um, perhaps the Senior Center of Lebanon Valley would decide they want to throw in the towel. And that, you know, probably won't happen, but I'm just talking about possibilities. And in those cases, we can make every effort to try and get other senior-related services in there to no avail. And we might have other departments within the county that are in need of expansion. For instance, children and youth may get mandates and funding uh, because of Jerry Sandusky trials. And we might have to expand. And these are just maybes, for instances, to prove a point. And the point is that to relinquish the power of the commissioners when we are maintaining the whole facility, um, the leaves, the snow, the parking lot, the roof, the heat, the light, the water, all of those things. <clears throat> and guaranteeing $100,000 in uh, maintenance on the property, and in many years we exceed that, and especially with the elevator, we're going to exceed that right off the bat the first year. With all of the responsibility we take on, and, and that also includes all those services for the fire company as long as they want to stay there. Um, it just doesn't seem right, given that a, the mayors uh, would have final say on who the other tenants are if we're following federal law, state law, county law, city law. It's just too much, and I respectfully ask that you withdraw that portion, that one little phrase that says you have final say. I guess I'd look at it as um, when the building was first constructed, the, the big addition, um, and the old um, school portion removed, demolished, the, the property itself was given to the city as a gift from the school district, and it's my understanding that the school district thought it would be used for the independent borough fire company and a senior center. And the city used CDBG funding and said that the purpose of it would be for a senior center. So in keeping in line with that, and I, I feel that it's something important that services to our elderly, you know, that we protect it as much as we can. 
and um, I understand that the issues that unfolded in the last six months or more um, that got us brought us to this point. Um, but as you stated, the city, the county, excuse me, has been paying you know well over you know you've been paying rent that has and other expenses for maintenance and items that have exceeded sometimes one hundred and ten thousand dollars. At this point, the county would not have to pay rent. And in order for the city to protect our taxpayers and try and make this a win-win for the county, the city, the senior center of Lebanon Valley, the community center of Maple Street, um, I'm trying to protect everyone and give us all equal footing. So it, it, is, it is a city, you know, we are the owners of the building and the property, and I need to make sure that in protecting the taxpayers that, and I'm not saying that the county would do this, but if you're not paying rent and and you've been used to, I think there should be some fair compensation. I agree, there may be years where no money goes into a capital reserve fund for these capital type expenditures. I don't think it's fair when the city's not making money, making revenue from the building, and then a big expense item um, comes to light. I think there needs to be some money saved for that, which is why we, we put that in there. But I'm but, not questioning that. I am only questioning <coughs> your in this case, your approval of the tenants that the county brings in because of the fact that we don't know what lies in the future. And I know elections, nothing are guaranteed. Let's just say next year we're dealing with another mayor, and they could make it very difficult. It could become a political football. The only portion that I... I don't know if I want to use, word, find, use the words find objectionable, um, but that I have trouble with is that giving, relinquishing this, the powers of the commissioners that are duly um, designated to us by the state to the mayor in this case, I think that that is wrong. And that's where I'm hung up on that. And I, I understand what you're saying, but I guess the other point is whenever it's almost like a, a sub, you're subletting, you know, usually the property owner has, you know, may have say in that. I guess that's how I'm looking at it. But, but it says the county shall have the right to lease the space from time to time to authorized agencies or users as previously approved by the federal laws, rules, regulations, and laws of the city. The term of such use, lease, and rental shall be the sole determination of the county with the exception of the tenants set forth in the next two paragraphs of this agreement. And that's where it goes in. The mayor shall have the final approval. And that's the only part of this entire lease that doesn't sit quite right with me, and I think I've outlined my, my objections. Um, I can't imagine any mayor <coughs> wanting to go against the county or senior activities. Um, I just need, I feel like I need some protection for the city because it is our building and, and, and not that I, you know, I feel the same way. Just like you're saying, you, you trust me, I trust you guys, but we don't know what the future may may bring up. This is for one year to kind of get our feet wet, see if it all works out. You know, maybe the next agreement, you know, we can change it and, and make that differently. Um, I just... If I, we if we approve this today, could we have the minutes reflect that we will revisit this before the end of the term of this lease, Mayor? Sure, and then, I mean, I'm hoping that I'm in office next year, but I mean, I, I will be in office, you know, through the the end of the year that we could, I would be willing to, to discuss it further. I think we made a lot of progress. Um, I agree. With the different changes. I, I think the $100,000 language has been cleaned up. I'm, I'm satisfied with that. This is the only thing that I, I just... And I understand where you're yeah. coming from, but I just hope that you can understand where I'm coming from. I do. From as long as well. we have um, a mutual understanding that we have to agree to disagree on this, we're fine. The other, the other point that uh, Commissioner Litz made, uh, I understand your uh, passion to keep this building related to seniors and senior well-being, and I think we, in, in essence, agree with that. Uh, the only, uh, I, I don't think any of us, at least on this board now, would would propose to bring tenants in there that uh, outside the that realm necessarily, with the exception of what Commissioner Litz already alluded to, uh, 
if we had another county department that needed space there and it might not directly be related to seniors, would you be inclined to approve that? And that's something that I feel we can discuss and it's it's in the agreement that, you know, the mayor of the city has final approval and that's something we can discuss. You know, maybe you would say, look, it's only a small area, you know, 95% of the building is still elderly right. related. Um, I, I hope everyone believes I'm a reasonable individual, but um, again, I, I feel the purpose of the building was to serve the, the seniors, and that's really uh, what I want to do. Okay. Uh, I'll move to uh, approve the agreement uh, as presented. Well, I can I can second. Okay. All right. It's been moved and seconded to approve the rental agreement with the city for the senior center. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Aye. All right. The motion carries to approve the uh, with a split vote, of two to one. <coughs> Anything else uh, <coughs> that we need to do? The uh, any of you in the audience? Do you have a spokesperson that wants to uh, well, participate? Congratulations on your first day. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to cause you any trouble. Um, it is my understanding that the leases between the city and the county is being signed today. And first, let me say thank you to the commissioners for all the effort that you have put into this. But my thing is, with all the meetings that are going on between the city and the county and the board, absolutely nothing has changed. The Lebanon Valley Senior Center is still holding the programs, collecting their dues, and they're paying absolutely no 